It's your favorite Brand podcast. podcast. <laughs> it's Christmas time. Mistletoe, Mistletoe and wine. <laughs> Children see. So That's once again, if this is purely again. purely audio for you right now, we have transformed the podcast studio into a winter, winter wonderland. wonderland. A pink ribbon. We winter have wonderland. pink bows on our microphones right now. We have Absolutely. frosted. And I know what you're thinking if you're watching on YouTube. God, professional decorated uh-uh we whipped this up a couple days ago took us <laughs> took us an hour hours. <laughs> it was it was it was it was a tough it was tedious tough wasn't it old job it, you know we had we've to got put frosted each christmas trees in individually mm. I, you know i told that ready-made to christmas trees not she, real she's artificial she's never heard of that before having to put each branch in it really oh i have really yeah it's quite normal is it each branch yeah i think so individually yeah because usually I feel like it's split up into three or mm, four. Like skirts yes. almost that you drop on. Yes. No, yeah. Yes. Amazon's finest. So, Everything is Amazon's finest. The ribbons, the the heart um, baubles, baubles. All of the heart baubles. And so the our tree theme skirts. is pink ribbons. That's what's on our Christmas trees. And we're going to have this for the whole month of December. So we'd and like we to wish wait. you a Merry Christmas and a festive Happy New Year. <laughs> happy, Happy New Year. We really are in the spirit, aren't we, Sophia? We're so in the spirit. I'm just, oh, I'm just so, yeah, I love it. So- <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, yeah, we are so in the spirit. Um, <laughs> I'm having my hot chocolates yes, at night time. Yes. I'm listening to Michael Bublé. Mm. I'm just really... Really in the swing. It. Yeah. The one thing about this season that is starting to bug me. Oh God, here she goes. Is um, the amount of fluff that I'm producing. From? From all these coats. Oh. You know, and especially because my new edition of my Stanley Cup, I'm finding fluff all over this straw, all over this Stanley Cup. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. just the fluff everywhere. Oh. It's, yeah, and because obviously this one is brown. Of course. It's it's reminiscent of brown pubes. Oh, <laughs> you're finding them on the straw. <laughs> How did that get there? <laughs> um, so that's the only oh, thing yikes. I will say about the fluffy get-ups. Okay, yeah. But I do love it because I love being comfy. I've just recently bought a pink scarf. I've got it here with me today. Not wearing it to record because it gets yeah, pretty hot. That, that, but um, That would be quite an obstacle, mm, quite a barrier. Yeah, just one thing I need to get now is some mittens, some gloves. Same, I was thinking about mittens. But it, it's not that cold yet. I'm not really it's feeling not, the need for if that. If you were to get on a line bike, Sophia, then very you would need true. some protection for the I hands. experienced that, yeah, the weekend. Yeah, yeah that's very yeah, true. Because the knuckles mm. is, I mean, you know, God help the people who get all those cracked knuckles. Angie, my oh, mother being one of we them. We used to get those we when used we used to, to get- go to school, remember? Are we okay? We'd have cracked raw oh, knuckles. I, oh my God, I just got a flashback of your red raw red knuckles. Red raw bleeding. knuckles. <laughs> to get to that school every morning. Back in school, what were you doing to us? We we're, we're bleeding knuckles. I would have been a bare, bare fist fight. Because <laughs> we used to Jesus. walk to the bus stop. <laughs> Agony. Do you know what? Hands would be PE outside. And was it- so <laughs> hands would be so sore. I'm sorry. Wh- why was our mothers not buying us gloves? <laughs> they you probably know, were. We're coming home with, with bleeding knuckles. Help me. Like looking like Oliver Twist. <laughs> They probably were. We just weren't wearing them. Or well, we'd it, lose them and it'd be like, I've bought you three pairs of gloves. Yeah, because was it that, like, did we have, what, did we wear, were we wearing coats? Was it, like, not cool to wear a coat? Yeah, well, you had to wear a black coat, Bullshit you know, rules. with no logos on. Bullshit rules. <laughs> Isn't that just stupid and <laughs> um, i don't i don't know i can't really black remember black only oh, and then you know if what? you if you wanted to wear a coat to school you got to carry a coat around yes, all day then once you're there you get hot yeah because that heating's turned on yeah the heating's up yeah. so yeah our poor knuckles gosh yeah, yeah. God, yeah i actually can, <laughs> I have a vision, a vision of your bleeding Same. knuckles oh god Jesus they feel sore thinking about Christ. it so happy wednesday guys welcome back yeah, so it's welcome bleeding to knuckle season. <laughs> it's bleeding knuckle season <laughs> <laughs> it's giving goo. <laughs> and welcome to our winter wonderland. Woohoo! Okay. Right, we've got a cork of, a, of, of question of the week. Let's do this. So, everyone, ho, ho, ho. I want you to remember transport yourselves back to your work Christmas party last year. Mm-hmm. What happened? Get in like the zone. There's a lot of, you know, it, 
It's a big event. It's got a, a huge lot to event. Look, look forward to. Sequence. Are you doing a red lip? Mm. Got a new little heel with a mm. bow on. Mm-hmm. You know? Uh, oh, God, yeah. Brian's going to be there. Yeah, there's, he's going to be there. Oh, God, all the departments are going to be there. Yeah, there's really nothing quite Especially like... Especially Steve from Human Resources. Steve from Accounting. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy Steve from Accounting. There's nothing quite like the work Christmas party. Yes, really not. Um, so... After a year of hard work for the company. Oh, blow off some steam. You know, let's just blow off Drink some, some wine. So our question of the week. week. This week is, tell us the wildest us. work Christmas party stories. Wow, wow, wow. We just want the goss, basically. We, I just love this. Th- I live for this kind of shit. Because all I think about work Christmas party is people who shouldn't be snogging are snogging. <laughs> That's what I think. Or it's like people who've had a little bit of a, you know, blah, 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 yeah. they're snogging. It's yeah. like, whoa. Because it's the glitz and the glam of it yeah. all. It's the mulled wine. We spoke about it last week a little bit. It's those kind of vibes. Yes. Okay, so uh, I got with a colleague uh, t- I had sexual tension with in front of everyone and it was filmed. Classic. Oh, no. Filmed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. No, that's um, classic. I expect oh, God. many snogs at the work Christmas party. Twerked on my 55-year-old <laughs> male boss. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Lovely. Love that. So, oh, my God. <laughs> Sex with the boss in the shower S- at work. S- <laughs> <gasps> with the boss in the shower wow wow honestly get that back a girl was leaving slept with her crush n- oh oh no. oh no sorry listen to this let me start that again oh, no. so a girl was leaving so yeah. the christmas party was like her final hurrah <laughs> oh, oh, oh so she oh. slept with her crush love that then her new job fell through and she was back in on monday oh no oh, oh god that's gosh. always so embarrassing I remember, the I remember at my, at the I remember at my retail job, our manager was supposed to be leaving yeah. and everyone was quite happy. Because, because of the incident that happened? No. No. Because he got offered a job in Germany. Oh. So he was going to be leaving. It was all the talk. It was all, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we had this big leaving do and all the staff were like, oh my God, he's going to be leaving. <laughs> and then... Um, yeah, it fell through and he didn't leave. <laughs> and he was like, oh, <laughs> never mind. And he just kept his job. Yeah, nothing worse than having a leave find... and do and then not leave. Yeah, did they not find a replacement for him though? No, he didn't leave, he stayed. I know, but like if you're having a work do, mm. I'm, I'm a, a leave and do, I'm assuming that they found a replacement. So then they had to let the replacement know. Yeah, and that maybe there was some, I can't really remember, but there was, there's like, you know, supervisors, manager. So maybe they, oh, she's found another yeah, pube see, look, on the straw. It, it, it rests. On me, and now there is brown pubes all on my lovely straw. And because the straw's got a bit of lip balm on, it's got yeah. a bit of stick. It's got a bit. It's got. It's got that tackiness. It's got that, that you would you. expect. Mm-hmm. God, everyone's just sleeping together. It sounds like it, 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 it's the sexual tension in the workplace that'll do it. A girl that'll started giving one it. of the managers a lap dance, and she never came back. <laughs> Spewed over someone's God. fur jacket. Okay, classic. Yeah, I slut sick dropped and sex. I slut dropped, and my jeans split massively, <laughs> revealing my ass to managers. Classic. <laughs> Love that. Tried to impress my work crush by doing the worm. <laughs> Landed on my head and kicked him in the balls. Oh goodness me! <laughs> um, I threw up on a guy fast. I had a crush on. Never lived it down. Sick. Sick will do it. You sick know, will do if- that to you. If I was, you know, if I fancied someone and they were sick on me, I, I wouldn't be able to be <laughs> Yeah, because that smell just pop. never leaves you. Yeah, it w- you would think of them God. and the sick in the, at the same time, wouldn't you? Got so drunk, I was escorted home by my manager. <gasps> oh, gosh. Oh, oh gosh. God. Boss brought his mistress to the Christmas party. Not the mistress. Left his wife and kids <gasps> at home. That's wow. so bold and brazen of him, isn't it? Like, it's just colleagues. No one's bringing partners. Oh, wow. And he's brought, brought his mistress. Wow. We're not allowed to have parties in our office anymore as a couple were caught having sex in the <laughs> toilets. <gasps> oh, and then, so they ban parties just because of that? Yeah. Come on. That's just, ruining it for everyone. That's just nat- natural animal instincts. <laughs> <laughs> we're not allowed to have parties anymore. Because someone had sex in the toilets. <laughs> What would they ban at school? Just stupid shite. Oh, they're banned. Silly yeah, bands. fizzy it, drinks. No, like, like, yeah, and like all the like fun games that you get. Yeah, trading, like... Um, trading, oh, they're banned. Yeah, what? they're banned now. Why are you banning them? It's um, not drugs. 
not, it's not drugs. <laughs> like top trump, top trump cards are back. Yeah. What? <laughs> Why? Let us live. Let, Let us what? have one little slice of fun. <laughs> Please. Please. Pushed against a cash machine. Whoa. Whoa. I was bent over the cash machine. Head- <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, whoa, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> she actually said ended up pushed against cash <laughs> with my knickers off my knickers were down by my ankles <laughs> kissing my work mental <laughs> not the mental <laughs> no, why is that one the knickers <laughs> <laughs> Ended up by the cash machine with my dick and some of it. I just can't Push it against the cash machine. <laughs> push it against, well, against the cash machine. I'm crying now. Oh, brilliant. We're in fucking makeup now. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, it was actually my mental. Uh, HR kissing married men. Oh, the Ooh. irony. Um, <laughs> caught the 60 year old CEO having a spliff out the back. Whoa. <laughs> Just really seeing people in different lives. You know what? It's like when you see teachers in their in their own clothes at the weekend in the supermarket, and you're like, "Whoa, Whoa. you look fucking different!" (laughs) And it's scary and weird. That's weird. It's the same way with your bosses. Like, I don't want to see you outside of the work environment. It makes me uncomfortable. I don't want to see you in hoodies and joggers. No, no. Like, I don't want to see you with your wife. No, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see you with your kids. No, I can't. I can't picture that. No. Yeah, seeing teachers at the supermarket. (laughs) (laughs) I remember I saw. The Baptist boy, the Baptist one from Did in you? the park once. Oh, that's weird. I hated it. Hated every moment mm. of it. It's just oh, uncomfortable, it's like when you see isn't the it? priest out and about. <gasps> that's not normal. That You're, feels uh, like a sin seeing the priest yeah, out and about. Like, I only see you in in in, in the, the church. Of Christ. Mm. You know <laughs> what are you doing out here on the on <laughs> Why are you Hill? in Tesco? <laughs> that's not very Christ-like of you. <laughs> oh. Oh, rest in peace, Father. Amen. I really miss our yeah. priest. He was great, wasn't he? Yeah. Lovely Irishman. Yes, I, I never knew he was Irish. <laughs> like, Goodness I me. never knew he was Irish. You heard his voice probably about five days a week. I know, and... I know, but I never clocked that it was Irish. It was just a, a holy... deep, what do you say when you go? Mumbly voice. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Father, Father, Son. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. He was Irish. Yeah, I just, I yeah. never knew that about him. Made the big old move to Nottingham. Gosh, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wonder what brought him over. The priesthood. Yeah, Christ. The parish. <laughs> parish. <laughs> parish. Uh, oh, whoa. What a blast from the past. What a time to be alive that was. That's so weird. I just saw a dress that was called the parish dress last night. God, it's haunting you. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> And old flames resurrecting. (laughs) That's giving invisible string theory, you know. know. In our Patreon episode we did on Monday, Sophia said, We resurrected the trees. (laughs) (laughs) Do you realize you said that? No. And in the moment I went, Resurrect? (laughs) That means brought back from the dead, does it not? Only Jesus is resurrected. We resurrected the (laughs) trees. Resurrected. (laughs) <laughs> but like the Christmas trees were like dead in their box oh. and now we've brought them out back to life oh, that and they'll go, sense. they'll go in again and then we'll bring them out again. Yeah. In, out, that in, out. That does actually out. make sense actually, my bad. Everyone's just having sex in the toilets really. Why do you people So work? where are we having in the toilets over the cash machine? <laughs> people are giving blowjobs <laughs> on the table. <laughs> Went to the table. Oh well, we heard of an incident that happened under the table. Didn't we? Oh, something I never even didn't even know existed. Involving toes, toes mm. in intimate places. Toes, it toad in the hole. Under the dinner table. <laughs> yeah, toad in the hole. Someone had a toad in the hole last she night. Did. Did. <laughs> Sharing it. Toes in the holes are delicious, though, aren't they? <laughs> but toes in other holes is toes not so is not delicious. So. <laughs> oh my god. Toenails. 
<laughs> Think of all the bacteria and fungal that is under a toenail. The HR lady threw food and got fired the next day. What? You get fired for throwing food? Food fight. Food fight. <laughs> Lobbing <laughs> pies in the girls' the room. <laughs> I got a that. lot of Christmas stories Sophie, here, you guys. Think that's a sackable offence. No, throwing food. That's 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 fun, isn't it? That's Fifi. fun. That's F U N. Yeah, that's maybe not... she was doing it out of rage. Penalise you. Mm. Or maybe she was doing it out of anger. Yeah. Or you know, you know if she worked cause... at a restaurant and was taking food off yeah. plates and throwing it, then yeah. I could see how that would be inappropriate. Uh, okay, because if you were to throw like a slab of meat, that would hurt. That'd hit you that like would hit you like a brick. That would slap, slap you like a face. hand, wouldn't it? Sl- it'd be like a slap. Steak. <sighs> yeah, but just like some something soft, bit of mash. Mm. That's really good to throw. I mean, well, most of the drama here um, just seems to be that people are hooking up. People that. are hooking up and people are having That's fun. That's exactly what I would expect from you lot. <laughs> someone, put, <laughs> someone put sex in the toilets. Classic. Classic. It is <laughs> classic. classic. Classic Christmas party antics. Classic. Um, okay, well, you know, we've got our Christmas party. Oh in a couple God. of weeks time yes we get to attend the christmas so, party how fun of us we'll tell you if there's any drama there <laughs> we'll be on we'll be keeping our eye out we'll be on our best behavior mm. promise we'll be keeping our ears peeled santa. in the toilet santa baby da, 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 santa da, da, baby da, da. okay first dilemma yes please you guys know me and Sophia love a little foot topic. Bit of wiki feet. Bit of wiki. We should double check what our scores are. I know, are. we should see if they've gone up. should hope if... we're foot five. Mm. That's so interesting because we were talking about other feet things this week. I know, we were just talking about it. Yeah, toes. Yeah, yeah. I know. We were just talking about toes and such. Mm. And now we've got foot fetish gone too far. Mm. What could this mean? What could this mean? How wiki could it have feet gone subscription. too far? Yeah, just constantly... Pictures of feet above the bed on posters. Yeah. You know, what could be taking Screen this too far? Screen savers' toes. Touching strangers' feet on T- the bus, you touching know. Touching strangers' feet. Bit of footsie feet. on the tube. <laughs> what, could <laughs> we, what could this mean? Oh, God. Hey, girls. One of my best friends has come to me in confidence. Girl. <sighs> God, now you're spilling oh, all no. our dirty laundry on this podcast. And I don't know how to help or who to turn to. So I've <laughs> turned to you. <gasps> oh gosh okay listen we we do need to do more research on the fetish fetish industry yeah definitely yeah definitely because we could really build you our got any fetishes no <laughs> <laughs> yes feet <laughs> yes <laughs> your feet in particular pop them out let me have a look <laughs> i always catch you looking at them <laughs> <laughs> no. well, uh, at least we've got nice feet eh? we've got beautiful yeah. feet right so 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 she's been with her boyfriend brian for two strong years your friend okay your friend yeah. your friends come to you in confidence okay. okay they've been a smooth sailing super healthy relationship from day one Gorge. They recently moved in together and are starting up their dream side hustle. Love that. Oh, this sounds beautiful. Basically living their dream. Love that. Oh, that's amazing. Towards the start of their relationship, he disclosed a few alternative sexual preferences. Alternative. <laughs> a, few, a, a few alternative sexual, sexual preferences. preferences. <laughs> okay oh god it's reminding me of that dilemma we had before where the guy was wanting to like you know how do you feel about oh, me slapping you around yes. the face and it was like Whoa. how do you feel about being gagged mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um he okay oh, full stop he likes feet Okay, I feel like in, in the He's grand a toe scheme man. of um, I mean, we know also of that other toe man, don't we? Who? The toe man. <laughs> <laughs> the big toe man about the toe, toe man. Who? The big toe man. It's the guy we were just referencing. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> the only man we've spoken about recently who likes toes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we know one of right, those. Right. Okay. So he, he, he let her know at the start of the relationship. I've got a few alternative sexual preferences. Mm-hmm. I like feet. Sue me. Sue me. <laughs> What's a guy to me. do? <laughs> Cuff me. <laughs> What's a boy to do? Right. Okay. Nothing wrong with it. He likes feet. Look, there are many more extremes than feet. <laughs> You know, I'd take feet any day. Yeah, I could take feet any yeah, day. Just not, I'm not near touching me yours, or on me. But no. Yeah, absolutely. He likes feet. She never had a problem with this, although not something she's personally into. Mm. She was happy to give it a go and explore. 
That's that's what it's all about being open. Yeah. It's about being open mm. to your partner's yeah, put that in your mouth. Yeah, what do you think about? <laughs> Go on, suck on that. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't deal with that of an evening. Suck. <laughs> Please put it down. <laughs> right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So it's not it's not her thing, but she's yeah she's happy. But to, she said she was happy to give it a go and explore. Yeah, and that's all you can ask for from your partner. An open mind. It is open mind, open heart, mm. <laughs> open toe shoes. <laughs> An open mind, an open heart, an open toe shoes. I guess not in the winter. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, that was smart. That was quick from you. <laughs> An open toe shoes. <laughs> that was good. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's keep going then. Okay. Why has it gone too far? Right. Let's get so, to the yeah, crux. She was happy to give it a go and explore. However, this little piggy went to market. <laughs> oh, please. This little piggy. What was that rhyme? I used to enjoy that. Wait. Yeah, yeah. And this little piggy, piggy ran all the way oink, home. Oink, oink, It was about all the piggies going yeah, to market way, or something. Yeah, wouldn't people grab your toes? But then I this realized... This little piggy. Mm, but then I realized that... Um, you know how they say there's like a you know morbid meaning behind nursery rhymes? This little piggy went to market. It's going to... Get killed. And then the one ran all the way home, so it escaped. That's why we don't eat meat. That was the start of our vegan mm. veganism. Mm. Also, just a quick thought. He likes feet, not necessarily his feet. He likes other feet on him. Yeah, I, I don't think people, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I guess maybe his toes getting sucked might do something. Oh, I see what I see. What do you, you see? Mean. What I mean? Mm, yeah, he likes other feet, not yeah. necessarily his feet. Actually, no, because we heard of the, of the toe incident that happened. God, what is this the same incident you're referring to? Yes, it is. I'm just thinking about it. Yeah. So does he? He likes feet. It, his feet mm. in holes. <laughs> but that's a conversation for another the day. Time. She said she was happy to give it a go and explore. Mm -hmm. However recently he's been more and more protective and sneaky over his phone and that's very easy to very notice, easy to spot it? yeah because like it's like usually you know you go into the toilet okay phone's out whatever. yeah yeah but all of a sudden <sighs> mm. i can spot it a mile mm. off yeah okay she came to me about this as she was thinking the worst and we agreed we would have a snoop Okay, I love she that she's. I love that she's confided in you. Me too. You guys have obviously got yeah. a really like so close she's connection. She's not afraid to be judged yeah, by you, which is here. really nice. Like yeah. something's off. What am I gonna do? So That's you both snoop. snooped. God, how exciting! Yeah, how ex What a thrill! I'm Four eyes that. better than two. Absolutely, absolutely, Sophia. So the other night I got a, a phone call. She's in tears. <gasps> I assume I'm gonna have to pick up the pieces mm. from a nasty cheating Brian. Right. And obviously I just feel heartbroken for her. But no, it's worse. What? How can it be worse than a nasty cheating Brian? Of course, this is foot fetish. This What's going on? The toes. Oh no. Whilst he was in the shower, she'd grabbed his phone where she found her own feet pics. <gasps> he's like the paparazzi. <laughs> feet up on the sofa. It's going to be socks. <laughs> socks on. <laughs> Ugg boots on. <laughs> Right, so these have been taken over the course of a few months, all while she's been sleeping. <gasps> Not while oh, I'm asleep. Oh, that's giving. That's giving. But that's just spooky. deadly feet. That's 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 a bit scary, actually. That is because you know when you're asleep, you you. I don't like the idea of that. That he's walking over your naked body as you're asleep and snapping pics of your feet. <laughs> no. No, I, don't I really like don't like the idea of that. Because for all we know, it's going to slice one off and put it in the freezer. That's really unsettling and a bit spooky. Yeah. Because, you know, like if your or boyfriend came to you with a foot fetish and you were open-minded as she yes. was, she could have been like, sure, what do you like? Take <laughs> take pics, put them in some soap. What do you soap. want me to do? Yeah, point, What flex. do you like? Yeah, like, <laughs> you know. So the fact point that he's... <laughs> is that what? Is that... 
parents that do anything for you what would you like me to do with them <laughs> yeah but you know, yeah that yeah. could have been a conversation yeah yeah so the yeah, fact yeah. that he's you know <laughs> While she's a that really yeah. good, puts a creepy tone it on it, actually. Because it's like, just ask me. Yeah. If you were like, do you know what? Send me a pic of your feet. Yeah. You know, I'd be like, sure. Right. Okay, babe. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I'll go get a petty for you. You mm. know what I mean? You can do it like quite. Yeah. It's like, okay, I'm doing something for you at least. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, you know, yeah. what color should I get on my toes? I don't know. Yeah. Is that anyone? I don't know. <laughs> Not the, yeah, me, my limp, sleeping body. Yeah. And you just put in the flash on. It's raw. Yeah, okay. Okay. All Chicken right. drumsticks. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> pale feet. Especially if I've got no fake tan. That's just That's a blue what I'm saying. feet. That's what I'm saying. Blue veiny blue feet. Blue veiny. Chicken <laughs> drumsticks. feet. Feet. You know, and we've got high arches. I so know. So I'll just sit like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's giving me okay. chicken drumstick. Okay. Right. Okay. Oh God. And also this has horrified her. Like this is making yeah, her cry. Yeah. Because she is also feeling this is uncomfortable. Yeah, she's spooked it, out. It's, it's a secret. Like, and we shouldn't have secrets. Mm. But wow. it's like you've told me that you have a foot fetish. I'm so aware of yeah, that. Yeah, so let's go for so it. Let's like go just for tell it. me about it. Like mm. you said. Do you like okay. them pointed? Do you like them flexed? Buy let's me some nice going. shoes. But mm. let's keep going. Right. They had never discussed this. Huh? And as in like about the pics. Right. And she had no idea this entire time about, about these pictures that were being taken. <sighs> she said she felt disgusted oh. and so taken advantage of. Yeah. And this did not seem like something her Brian would do. Okay, so she's mm. like, this is not like you. Mm. Like I'm seeing a different side to you. Mm. So he came out of the bathroom and she blended, pr 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 pretended nothing had happened. It's quite shocking. It is. Like I know it sounds like silly, but it, it's the it's, it's quite it's, shocking, it's, really. It is because it's it is exactly that. Like it's the fact I that like you're I don't asleep. know you. Yeah. I feel like like I if don't you know were you. like, you know, legs up on the sofa watching a film and he was like, Cool, your feet look great. Let me snap a pic. Okay, whatever. Yeah. But like it's the whole yeah, like, if know, I was floaty boat. Yeah, whatever. if this was your like boyfriend of a couple yeah. of years, you were like, Which yeah, it sure, is. Do right. Yeah. So it's like he can why can't he just say, Oh yeah, look oh, look at your feet today. Just yeah. So like you see my feet all the time. Right. It's the it's the asleep photo. It's the asleep for me. That is really crossing a that's you yeah. know when you're in a deep sleep and you you, you know you're that's expecting, just inappropriate yeah okay so he came out of the bathroom she pretended nothing had happened they carried on as usual she hasn't given anything away that anything is wrong she's just been like you okay. don't know what's happened so she called so that's when she called me the following day in right. complete shock to tell me that she had found and asking is in, was as asking me for advice saying she didn't know if she could heal from mm. such a breaking of trust. You feel, she loves, you feel violated. Yeah. yeah, I get it. She loves him and the life they are building together more than anything and didn't know whether to stick it out and never mention that what she's found. I know, but I wouldn't be able to fall asleep again. I don't know, I'd be on uh, edge. Uh, I'd be going to know? sleep with socks on, that's yeah. for sure. Oh, but then what if you wake up with no socks on? Ooh. Then, then you're going to be in your creepers. So she doesn't know whether to stick it out, never mention it again, or confront him and potentially risk it all blowing up. I honestly didn't know what to say mm. and spent most of the time just trying to make her feel a bit better about the situation. Mm. Any advice for her on what to do about the thank you girlies? Wow. Wow. Right, okay, what to do? Yeah, I mean, again, it's kind, yeah. Of, it's kind of like what we've been saying as we've been reading it. Like the foot fetish wasn't a secret. He was and it wasn't ever a problem. It wasn't ever a problem. You know I mean? No, you were open to it. He, you know, said it quite early on in the relationship. It was well received, yeah. you know. And then, but it's the- He's made it a problem now. The well, secrecy. It's, it's the secrecy of, you know, it's the, the pictures on the phone. It's the dishonesty and the and the you're yeah you're just not being open. You know if we're building this future together, also a business together. Yeah, you know, we're starting up yeah. a business, and you can't even be honest to me about what one in a mm. quick cute little pick of my feet. Yeah, you know then it's what secretive. else? Well, then it makes you think that it's like well, what else are you being dishonest mm. about? And it's alarming. It does open a can of worms because you kind of realize that your boyfriend who you thought, you know, you had a really great communication with, you thought had no secrets, everything, I can tell him anything. You've realized like, oh shit, he actually has been keeping a secret from me. And it makes you Actively see him. keeping a secret. Yeah, it makes you see him in a different light mm -hmm. and it kind of taints his image in your head because it's like, oh, 
I never thought we had that dynamic. I thought we were always honest, open. And you know, when you like, you think you know someone. Yeah, you know, do you you're, think you're you know thinking, someone? Oh my God, I, you know, I thought I knew this guy. Inside you know, out. Inside out, I thought we were the love of each other's lives. And now... This mm. one, this one thing has made me question everything else as yeah. well. Because what else are you hiding? Oh, okay. How long has this been going on? Is there other pics? Mm. Have you been doing this since you know the first time we slept together? You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you're, it's there's, it's a bit. Mm. It's opens it's, a can of worms for yeah. sure. I think. I mean, honesty is the best policy. I know we kind of always say it, but I think she needs to talk to him about this. Say something. Because I think if they're serious about each other, which they mm. obviously mm. are. And it's been, you know, all good from day one. Like mm -hmm. she just needs to sit down and say like, look, we need to have a conversation. I've been on your phone. I've uh, seen. First point is I rec I saw you being a bit shifty around your phone. Yeah. That gave me alarm bells. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I had a look on your phone while you were in the shower. Not proud of it, but. but I, I did it. But I did it. Sue me, you know. Mm. And I found something. So I, so obviously and the just, shifty behavior. Just, all she needs to say is like, you know, she doesn't have to be, you know, shouting and blah, blah. It can mm. be very calm. Mm. But all she needs to say is, I just need you to explain these pictures of my feet whilst I'm asleep on your phone. And then it's ex just explain it. And then explain how it makes her feel. Listen. Yeah. And say, look, I never had a problem with your foot fetish. No. You know, I, I was willing to provide you with all the foot content that you, you needed. needed. Yeah. All you had to do was ask. Mm. All right. These toes are ready for These the toes are yours and yours only. Mm. You know, does that not make you feel something? Yeah. You know, but you had to do it while I was asleep. Yeah. And it's without my consent. It's, it's a betray of trust. Yeah, Because you don't want to fall to sleep next to your boyfriend Who's thinking- being sneaky. You don't, about, want to, you don't want to think that your partner is being sneaky about anything. Whilst you're Whether asleep, that's, especially. You know, yeah, whilst you're being sneaky. You can't lie in bed at night, you know, thinking, oh, I don't want to fall. I need him to fall asleep first because like, you can't live like that. No, that's you, not but, sustainable. But it's not healthy to Not think, healthy, no. Oh, yeah, what's he going to get up to tonight? Oh, I'm a bit on air. Yeah, no. he is sneaky. Like that's not a comforting feeling. Not someone you want to lie next to every no. night. So if he can't explain him, explain himself and let let you know, you know, okay, this won't happen again. Mm. Um, I and maybe will, he will. You know, maybe he will. Maybe he just felt a bit embarrassed of his foot fest for a little bit. Yeah. Maybe he thought he couldn't ask her for some pictures of her feet. Yeah. And thought he had to go. You know. This it, may just like open the floor for them to have a really honest conversation about and, it, and it could just get solved and they yeah. could move on from it you know yeah. i don't think this necessarily means they're going to break up it de all depends on what his his, his explanation is and but i think she definitely needs to Say to so. ask the question D don't just plod along and let no. this sweep under the rug no because you're not you're going to end up not sleeping yeah, you're going to get so much more suspicious this is just going to seep into every area of your relationship it is. and life it's just going to get worse yeah so it needs to be addressed to Today. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But God never heard of that before. I know. the asleep. You know, because there's one thing like, you know, imagine she went on his phone and there was just loads of pictures of feet, feet. that he'd like paid for online. Yeah. You know, okay, right. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. That's strong fetish. A, you know, definitely a bit weird. Mm. Um, well, it's it, his, yeah. It, yeah. No, well, as in like, you know, okay, that, that would still raise like, a, okay, you really like feet. Yes. You know, you're outsourcing other feet, mm -hmm. you know. My feet aren't enough. Right. My feet, exactly. That's fear. My feet aren't enough, mm -hmm. you know. But yeah, it's, 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 it's the dead it's of the night asleep, asleep It's thing. the asleep thing. It's like that break of trust. Mm. And secrecy. It is. It puts a different light on it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Because when you're asleep, that's when you're your most vulnerable. Exactly, yeah. And whoever you're sharing a bed with. That's what I was trying to say. You're yeah. both your most vulnerable mm. in that state. That's why you feel taken advantage so of. So him breaking your trust at your most vulnerable mm. is actually really concerning. Mm. So it needs to be addressed. Yeah. And I, it could well be solved. It could well be solved. He but good luck. Keep us posted on that one, please. Please. I hope she's okay. Me too. I'm and glad I hope she's he got has a, a good friend she can confide in Me about too. It. At least she's not going through it on her own. Me At least too. she has somebody to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And you care enough about her to try and get some solutions from the pros. <laughs> from the pros. I'm taking the piss. So my boyfriend's obsessed with his sister. Plot twist. And we've all probably seen the Friends episode with mm. the sister. What's his name? 
Don't know. Yes, oh, we do. I literally watched it last Who night. Who dates him? Um, Phoebe. Rachel. Rachel. Dates. Um, what's his? Oh, I can't fuck it. And, he, and he's just like having baths with his sister. Mm. Uh, oh, the bath's ready. Yeah, and they're like play fighting. <laughs> yeah, and they're like <laughs> canoodling. Yeah. He's like picking her up and like. Okay, okay, I just want some advice on a situation which I'm starting to feel very awkward about. Okay. I've spoken to my friends about it, but feel like they just agree with me to make me feel better. And I need an honest opinion. Comes We're going to give right it to place. you. I have been with my boyfriend for nearly two years. Okay. I'm genuinely obsessed with him and I'm positive he is the love of my life love and we will be together life. forever. You know what? Love that for you. Love that energy. We barely ever argue and have a very happy relationship. Mm -hmm. God, where's this going to go? I know. Why is, is it so wrong that he loves his little sister? I know. <laughs> However, he has a little sister who is 14. Okay. We are both 20. Okay. At first, I used to always try and make an effort with her, as you would, yeah. as I want her to like me and the family to like me, etc. I would always offer to take her to Starbies, Starbies trips. Nice. And I'm sorry. Imagine if you were 14 and your older brother's <laughs> sister, like, older brother's older brother's girlfriend's taking you to Starbucks, right. the cinema. Also, I'd be I, loving I know. that. And like, I've never dated anyone that's got a sister, and I just oh, think. I you have. Mm. And I just think that would be so nice. So nice. You know, because I've got sisters, I'd be able to relate. Yeah. You know, we'd be able to have that sister vibe. Yeah. But you wouldn't have that, like, you'd be both I can't complaining bond with to each other. Brothers. Mm. Brothers. Of boyfriends. You know, hi. Brothers, but sister, it's like, let's build this relationship. Really. Let's go, girl. Yeah. So, um, start these trips. You can, like, bully him together. It's just great, yeah. you know? Girls against boys. Yeah. I don't have a sister. So I love the idea of her being like a little sister to me. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's precious actually. It is. My boyfriend really values his family. So I knew it would mean a lot to him. Mm -hmm. My house is currently in the middle of a renovation and has, has been for the past year. So I'm basically living at his uh -huh. and spend nearly every day with them both. Now I'm starting to realize it's a bit weird and I'm really starting to lose my temper at him and her temper. So all get, the time. You're getting angry about this. It's causing, God, this has changed really quickly. Yeah. It's causing a lot of arguments over mm. nothing Ooh. as I'm constantly in a mood when Ooh. she's around. Oh, oh, oh. God, oh, what, what, oh, what's, a what's the girl done? And she is around 24 seven. So that's the problem. She's around too much. After work, when we are at his house, we will all be in her room chilling or she will always be in his room. We get no time alone at all mm -hmm. and he never seems to care, which annoys me even more. Mm -hmm. She's always, you know, just in the bed with us, watching a film, um, is always going out with us. He never says anything about it and will right. always ask, let's bring Sarah. <laughs> Sarah's got to come. Fucking hell, can we not have a day off? <laughs> She's saying like, no, I don't want her to come. <laughs> they also tell each other everything, which I personally find a bit odd as right. it's his little sister who is 14. Right. There's, there's quite an age gap there. Yeah, like fair enough if they were like twins. Yes, you know, or even like... like Two or three years, yeah. but a fourteen-year-old and a twenty-year-old. There's a, a that's a significant. That's a big jump. Yeah, he's so invested in all her gossip, which is weird because why do you care about high school gossip when you're an adult? I mean, <laughs> I'd be invested too. You know, I won't lie. It can be juicy. Even for example, like I could go for a shower, go into his room to get changed, and she's just sat there on the bed with him, <laughs> not getting a hint to leave when oh. I'm basically naked. Right. And same with him. If he's getting changed, she's just sat in the room, not caring, um, but she can basically see her older brother naked in front of her. <laughs> I've tried to make hints to be like, can we just go here? Or yeah. just say, you know, I'm really tired for her to get out the room. Yeah. But he just doesn't get it. I feel like deep down he knows it annoys me, but still doesn't tell her to give us some space. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm a third wheel in their relationship. Right. I basically just want your, we've never had anything like this before. We have never. I basically just want your honesty opinion if i'm overreacting and do you find it normal how close they are i don't have a younger sibling so wouldn't really know myself and should i say something i'm just scared he will tell her and it's going to make it awkward right. like you know we're all i'm living with his family mm -hmm. um you know what because this yeah. is interesting because as an older this is sister, so interesting as an older sister right and if i was constantly having a boyfriend round right yeah imagine i was in the family home yeah I was I had a boyfriend round, you know, six days a week. Yeah, and my little fucking annoying yappy ass sister was trying to be. I go fuck off now. <laughs> off you go. Off you go. Can you fuck off? You know. Yeah. But because I'd be like, get the fuck out of here. Mm. 
Because with that big age gap. Like, I, we could have maybe like 30 minutes. Like, yeah, you can hang with us. Oh. Okay, now it's time for you to fall. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it would co- it would come very natural for me to be like, it's, it's alone time now. Yeah, goodbye. You're, you're pissing us yeah. off. But you've said look, hello. You're pissing me off and you're pissing him <laughs> off. You know, i just be honest. You know, <laughs> have you not seen the distressed look on his face? Because <laughs> yeah. you've been around too much. Yeah, you know, it's so it's interesting. interesting that you're like, well, let's bring Sarah. Come on, because I'm like, you ain't coming. You ain't coming nowhere. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Where do you think you're coming with, with us? You ain't going nowhere. But then, yeah. as as the younger sibling, you know, it's so fun when you're it's the so younger fun. one because it's like, oh, take me, yes. let me come. <laughs> yeah. Like, please. like she's fourteen. But please, can I get a moment having today? A brother, I need to leave the house. Having a brother who's twenty, he can drive. Drunk, he's yeah. got a bit. He's got a job. He's got a bit yeah. of cash to spend. To I'd be like, please take me. Do me. like you know, you just that would well, be well, fun. Yeah, you've got an older brother. Have you ever yeah, hung out with him and his girlfriend in, in his yes, bed? Yes, and I'm not. No, no. <laughs> No. As, as, uh, no. Sat in his bed watching films with him and his girlfriend? No. <laughs> well, he's I've gone to shower that. and he's come back and you just stayed But I remember there. when we'd all be at home and like Grace would come over, it'd be like, woohoo, let me, let me <laughs> hang out. Let me hang out, guys. <laughs> yeah. But no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go in their room. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. but then we're very close in age yes so I feel like you know I'd also be like I'm gonna go talk to my friends you know yes um, I also do have a life but sorry I can, I, <laughs> calling must go I've got a social so, calendar sorry I've got to get I'm ballet, saying is, guys. if you were 14 and 20 like yes. you would be like oh my god this is so yes la, la, la. uh but, yeah because no, it is interesting that he's like fair enough hanging out with Sibby. How nice, lovely. We all get along, but like there is a you know after a couple out, go oh, right now. Okay, yeah, give us some fucking Let, space, leave me alone please. now. I need to just breathe for one yeah. second. <laughs> You're sitting so close <laughs> to me. I can smell you from here. You're what breathing do, I on can, me. What do you have for dinner? I can fucking smell it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But then also like it's quite sweet because they obviously are super close, which is lovely. You know, I saw she's this. She's saying she's getting angry when, that she's I getting know. in a bad temper. I saw, I did see this thing. Um, I think it was on Instagram yeah. the other day uh, or it was on Pinterest. Mm. And it was this like quote about siblings. Yeah. And it was like, you, you only live together. Like, isn't it weird? Like when we're like grown up, like you don't live with your siblings anymore. Oh. And like, it's kind of like that sad. Like you never think when you're growing yeah. up that you're not gonna like live with your, something you don't really think about, yeah, is it? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, when you grow up, it's like, oh God, I guess we don't, we don't live in the same house anymore. Oh. Like, and I was, I was seeing that a lot online. So it's kind of nice because, you know, she's, Maybe thinking like, oh, my brother's not going to be at home, you know, for much longer. Yeah. Like, I want to spend loads of time with him. Yeah. But yeah, it's obviously really pissing you I off. I think you've got to say something to Brian. Just say, I love your little sister. Susie. She is isn't just, she just adorable. Isn't she a bundle of joy? <sighs> God, I can't wait to have a daughter of my own one day. But... I just do wonder if maybe when we watch that film tonight. She said she said that though. She said she's hinted at like, you know, can we just do this? Well, Well then I don't know what is there to do. I don't know what is there to do. Get a, a lock up, buy because a lock I guess the like this is all happening because you're living at his house. Because right. if you were living like each at your own family homes, you could invite your boyfriend round, of course, for the weekend. He's not yeah. going to bring his sister yeah. to your house. Well, hopefully I mean, not. I, I mean, it, it, I wouldn't be surprised if he did, to be honest. But you'd like to. You'd got more of a chance of her not showing up. Yes. So I guess it, you feel a bit suffocated because you're in their house. Yes. You know, you're trying you, to be polite all. So, you're, you're a guest in their house like you kind of feel like you've not got yeah. your bedroom because obviously you're living yeah. with him and then she's his. always in your you know this is your yeah. room I guess you kind of feel like you've not really got anywhere you can escape to because yes. maybe his family's downstairs and you it's not like being it's not the same as being in your own house with your own space you yes. can watch what you want yes. like you're a little bit on edge because you're living mm. with your boyfriend's mm-hmm. family mm-hmm. what are hints we could make to her Ooh, Run along now. <laughs> Run along now, little girl. <laughs> Off you go. Off you, Paul. Um, um, maybe like yet yeah, the ill. Why don't you oh, go I'm and see like? Why well. don't you go and see a film at a cinema rated fifteen? There we go. Sorry, Sophia's got it. Bingo. <laughs> you can't come. Have you got ID? 
Yeah, All like, you're gonna need a can fake you guys ID. go out? You're 20. Like, can you go out for drinks? Like, date night? Yes, like, she can't come. She's 14. Organize a mature date night. There yeah, we go. start doing yeah. some shit. Let's that go is... to casinos. Yeah. Children aren't allowed. <laughs> Where else aren't children allowed? Casinos, <laughs> bars, nightclubs, nightclubs, mm. strip clubs. <laughs> Yeah, strict clubs, gentlemen's clubs. Absolutely. There we go. Magic Mike live. Magic I guess. Mike. You know, there's definitely an age cap on that strip clubs. Bingo. Bingo. Hey, Brian, fancy going to the strip club tonight? <laughs> oh, you can't bring Sarah along with him then. <laughs> Honestly, that's probably your that's, only solution. Yeah. So if we could do a mature date night once every yeah. two weeks. Otherwise, I don't. Honestly, like, don't really know what what you can do. Just I get keep it. The like. Hints. You going. feel a bit suffocated because it's not your sister. And but if you, you find her what, a bit Zoe? annoying, but it's also like, God, what can you really say? Is like, their mother not going, Sarah, give them some on. alone time. I that's what my, like, leave them alone for once. <laughs> give them a breath. I know. Like the fact that no one's even like making those Well, comments. the mum probably finds it quite sweet because they're getting along so well. Yeah. And... But you know what? She will start to... Get bored. And also get, you know, when she gets to that age where she can go out on her own, meet up with her mates, go get, shopping. Have her own life. She, yeah, then she'll, she will she won't ever be around. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I think mm. she's just on that verge, like, you know, wanting you, to be a grown up, but not yet, and not there yet. And before you're 16, like, you don't have that, like, yes. independence just because how yeah. old were we when we, allowed, when we were allowed to go to town on our own? Actually, we were about 30. No, I wasn't. Really? Yeah, I remember you were always allowed to go. I wasn't allowed to go. But when was that first time we went together? I remember that. 15, 15. I think. So she's got about a year to go. Mm. Before yeah, she Fiona gets a bit of independence. <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah. four. Yeah, yeah. She's think, at that age. She's on the cusp, isn't she, think, of like getting some independence? Yeah. Back then, there was no find my friends. No, but we had phones. There was no WhatsApp track. You know. No. But you know what I mean. That's the uh, air, air tags. Mm. You know, just to track your kids. Yeah. You know, put them in the backpacks. That. Yeah, it's quite handy actually. It's quite handy. Trackers on your kids. Yeah. Sophia got a, uh, a rogue air tag got plopped in you, didn't it? yes i think it was an align bite yeah i still don't know what happened but it was good because i mean well actually this is a good tip so you know how we always like joke about you know trying to find out if your boyfriend's cheating put an air tag on him i got a notification on my phone that said like an unknown air tag has been traveling with you for 30 minutes that would make me panic so if anyone's gonna if anyone's gonna plant an air tag on your boyfriend they are gonna get flagged on their phone that an unknown air tag is following them (laughs) Um, and they're gonna know it's you straight away. They're gonna know it's you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's a tricky one. But I kind of feel like, look, they're letting you stay at their home. You you got to be a good house guest, and you are being, which you are being. Um, and this is something that you're just gonna have to. She'll get her own get life on soon, with. I think you know when she's yeah. allowed out of the house and she can get that independence. Yes, she ain't gonna be in your bed and anymore. try and you know arrange some nice date things for you guys to do. Yeah. That which are mature. Are, yeah, and listen, at least she's not you know spending the mean, night in the bed with you. Nasty, you yeah. know, there's this you know, it at could least be, there's love it there. could be it could be worse. Yeah. yeah. At least there's love there. Yeah. yeah. At least I she's get not that trying you're to sabotage like, you. I get that you're getting annoyed, but setting um, booby trap boogie traps. Imagine. Booby traps. Mm. Booby or boogie? Booby. Booby traps. Oh no. Booby trap. Yeah, booby trap. Booby. Why is it called booby? <laughs> boogie. Boogie trap. I think I thought it was booby traps. Booby traps. Yeah. Yeah. I've just never thought about it before. Yeah, at least she's not setting boob big traps. Mm. <laughs> Dropping war bombs on your head. <laughs> oh, God. Bucket of slime over the door. <laughs> that would be Sarah. <laughs> yeah, but mm. good luck with that. That's an interesting one. We haven't really spoken about that before. No. I don't think that's a hard one. Well, yeah, because usually it's the sister hates me, the boyfriend yeah, hates the me, the family hates, hates me. me. Yeah. And it's like, you know, but this way she, she likes you a bit she too loves. much. Mm. Okay, next dilemma. Why does he post her? And not me. Gosh. Another that's, can of worms we don't want to open. That's the that's really is the question of the year, don't you think? Hi, girls. I split from my utterly atrocious ex-boyfriend of three years around two months ago. Congratulations. And I think I'm handling it pretty well. I generally feel at peace with all of it. And I feel like I've grieved the end of the relationship while I was in it. Big yeah, congrats. You mentally checked out before Big she congrats. left. And I can confidently say I would never go near him again. Wouldn't even answer a text. 
Okay. Congratulations. But the other day, he actually came up on my TikTok, people you may know, TikTok. notifications. And I saw that his profile picture was of him and his new girl. Brackets, the girl he got with a week after me, whom I'd had a gut feeling about from the minute he followed her earlier in the year. <gasps> and also, so you've only been broken up for two months. Mm. So it's it's giving pre-planned. And you've already got your new profile pic. Wow. That's... This, of course, led me on to have a little snoop out of curiosity. And he has been posting her constantly throughout these two months, yet didn't post a single picture of me in the three years. <gasps> He reposts all her stories cool, and right. even posts his own. But for three years, all I heard was, I don't post. Or I want to turn my Instagram into a page for my business. <laughs> so I can't post things like that now. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> this is sure. a personal platform. This is a business now. You know, I'm totally <laughs> turning this into a business platform. And if I ever posted him, he wouldn't repost it or would moan and complain why I had done it. What wow. bullshit is that? Isn't that just crazy? Yeah. Like, isn't that crazy? During most of our relationship, I had no doubts about how he felt towards me as I was his lock screen. We were always on nights right. away. He was always giving me, you know, just because bouquets of flowers. Oh, that's nice. All of, of all of all his friends knew and would tease him for being so whipped or so he said. Right. Like, so she never felt like, you know, he was unfaithful or anything about the or, not or posting. Or keeping you a, a secret. Yeah. It, you always felt confident in like the real world with yeah. your relationship, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it was always like a thing that he, you didn't. The social world yeah i don't want him back but i can't shake this feeling of what don't i have that she does why all of a sudden does he want to show off this girl mm -hmm. who looks like me may i add when he was allegedly so in love with me but didn't want to <sighs> yeah i just feel quite down in myself now and i'm beginning to question a lot about my past three years mm -hmm. do you girls have any advice on why he's doing this or how not to think about it or any similar experiences Generally, this is a good girl talk question. Generally speaking, when someone you were with for a long time mm -hmm. gets into a new relationship very quickly, mm -hmm. like two months is very quick to have a whole new girlfriend, girlfriend or boyfriend straight after a three year relationship, it's giving, I'm still heartbroken. Rebound. I'm not healed. Mm. I'm trying to replace you. I miss you. Okay, I've met this girl. She looks similar to you. Okay. Replacement. I'm, and it's giving replacement. Two 2.0. Yeah, it's giving replacement. It's giving, I've not healed. Doppelganger. Yeah, it's giving, oh, I miss Susie, mm. right? And also like, if you- And, and, and it's low-key quite sad, mm. right? Yes, yeah. You know, like I've, if Sophia I mean, broke up with her boyfriend mm -hmm. and straight away, got an, within two months, got a new boyfriend who she claimed she was in love with, who like was a bit similar. I'd mm. be like, oh God. Hit Moved what? him into the house. I'd be concerned. <laughs> <laughs> moved him into the house you know I, yeah. I, I'd, be, I'd be like this is you know she's not healed mm -hmm. she's not got panic. over him I, I, it's giving panic it's giving panic decisions mm -hmm. it's giving frantic he's giving frantic yeah my mind just goes to like if you broke up with him or he like his ego was her after the relationship mm -hmm. ended and like mm -hmm. he also knows that he didn't put you on social media like is he doing this out of spite yes it, it's, it's is like he, a jealousy thing is he doing this because since you've broken up you said you've handled it well you're yeah. moving on yeah. you haven't you know been messaging him no. and calling him yeah. and whatever and maybe he's felt a bit like oh a bit like ego, ego hit yeah. like you know i thought yeah. i'd be getting a few drunk calls yeah. at least one drunk text yeah. you know like maybe he's heard through the grapevine of you know people in the same like night uh uh, friendship group yeah. or just like city vibes like yeah she's doing really that well doing yeah, really blah, 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 well. Blah. and maybe he's mm -hmm. just simply doing it trying to piss you off by like posting his new girlfriend and doing knowing all this knowing that you're gonna see it knowing that people are gonna knowing, send it to knowing you knowing that it's gonna get back yeah. to you because it has and maybe it was it was calculated by him to do this because, yeah, because he wants to he wants to piss also, you off and boys I mean, aren't stupid yeah like, they are definitely from mars mm. but also that they're, they're not as stupid as we think mm. exactly like sophia said he knows he never posted you yeah right and he he knows could be doing it to hurt you and he knows all that and he knows this new girl looks similar to you mm. and he wants you to see mm. he's doing it for you mm. he def he wants you to fucking see 
Yeah. 100%. That's where my mind goes. That 100%. He wants you to see and he's desperately hoping that it makes you feel some type of way. Mm. Plucks uh, up some sort of yeah. emotions. Yeah. But really, because you've handled it so well. Exactly. Really, you should feel sorry for him and think, look, it's quite sad. Mm. You know, you need to be healing. You know, we were in a long-term relationship. It didn't work out. You need to focus on yourself for a bit when mm. really he's just jumped headfirst into something else that potentially might not be right for him at all. Or, you know, on the other hand, it could be that this new girlfriend that he's got, like, insists. Yeah. You need to put, you yeah, know, yeah. if you were always like, oh, okay, a bit weird, but whatever. Yeah. You know, she, they, this may be their, like, their massive argument, yeah. you know, because yeah. often, like, I mean, not all the time, but some people, like, they post their relationships because that's where they get validation mm-hmm. from them. They're not actually that happy mm-hmm. in them. So they post them. So people are like, oh my God, you guys, blah, 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 blah. Like that's and the gushing not, caption. Yeah. And you you always hear about that. Like, oh, yeah. you know, it's not what it seems on Instagram. Yeah. Like we all know that. Mm-hmm. Um, so that could even be another thing. Yeah. Or it might even just be the, you know, I don't know. I, I it's, it's I get it. I, I would feel the same. I'd be like, what the fuck is going on here? You never posted me, me once. And I get that you can't help but now compare yourself and you're thinking, like, well, are you so much happier with her? Is she so much of a better girlfriend? And blah 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 blah. But at the end of the day, like, regardless of what the reasoning is, it's not your business anymore. And he's not your boyfriend anymore. Don't spend your time thinking about him. Be happy that it's not your business anymore. Like, let him do what he's going to do. Yeah. Don't engage. Don't fuel it. If this is to piss you off, the less you engage, the better. If he He'll is be just, feeling if so he is just, if he is just genuinely over the moon with this new girl and wants to show everywhere, that's their business now. You know, he's not your boyfriend anymore. You're moving on. You're handling it really well. Mm-hmm. Try and stop looking because that's only going to make it worse. Yeah. Um, and just on to the on to the next. Be you grateful know? that he's not your situation. Not your anymore. problem anymore. You know, you said he was atrocious. Yeah. Focus on that. Oh, good, good luck to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Good luck to you guys. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. how I'd be. I'd be like, I'm just fucking grateful that he's not my problem anymore. Yeah. You know, as unfortunate as it is, it's her problem now. Yeah. And even though they're posting all these cute pics yeah. or whatever, like what I was trying to say before, it may not be you what it appears to be. You don't know the reality of it. Exactly. And you know what? The reality of what's probably going on in her head is thinking, you've only been single for two months. Yes. You know, you're you with her for three her? years. Oh, I know I look like her, mm. you know, and she's got her own insecurities. Mm. And then you're also, you know, having a bit of a panic about mm. your, and, 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 it never nothing is ever as it seems no right no and then he's obviously thinking oh i'm trying to make her jealous you know possibly and it's not just this oh god they're so in love and and they look so happy and you know Mm -hmm. it's never as it seems Mm. so just focus on yourself in this moment you've got a lot of healing to do you've got to get over this breakup Mm. which you are which you are and you're on your way you're doing it well focus on that new year's coming up yeah not your problem a stalk you know, now and then it's great. And maybe you can stalk, you know, in the new year and you won't feel a type of way about it anymore, mm. you know? And maybe, you know, when you get a new hunk on your arm, Hunking a little up. couple, little couple pick on the feed. Absolutely. You know? Because you know Bosh. he's going to be viewing Hard that straight launch. away? Him. Mm. By that time, he'll be single. Yeah. And then he'll, he'll, you know, when he sees that your new guy's posting you. Mm. Right, he'll be like, oh, you know, yeah, gosh, I, yeah. she's got what she, you know, she's mm. finally got someone who that she deserves, and I yeah. hope he feels like who that. wants to show her off to the yeah. world because there's nothing worse than that. Mm. But good luck. Don't start comparing yourself because that is not going to do you any Mm-mm. favors. Mm-mm. It really is the thief of joy. Mm-hmm. Truest poisons. <laughs> Truest poisons. Truest poisons. I found my boyfriend's body count list on his phone, so he is he's going Susan. Helen, Becky, Becky, Sandra, Trisha, Jessica, Jessica. I Lucy, haven't got a list. Megan, I haven't got a list. No, um, but my notes are full of all sorts, wild stuff. Yeah. Um, hello, girls. God, this is not what you want to find, is it? I need serious, serious advice. Okay, let's get into it. But you know what I have got in my notes? Random paragraphs about stuff. Yes. From the, fucking years yeah, ago. Same. Even recent ones. There. Shopping lists, to-do lists, <laughs> random numbers. How I'm feeling at the time. <laughs> yeah, paragraphs, all sorts. Right, okay. Okay. I've been with my boyfriend for two years now and everything is perfect. Around two weeks ago, 
full stop, around two weeks ago, we had a massive argument in person. When we argue, our communication is rubbish. Mm -hmm. So I said to him, give me your phone. And I'll write something on his notes page for him to look back at when we next argue. Oh, oh shit. So this is just God. like... It fell also, into your lap. This is just worse because you were already in an argument. argument, right? And this is just a cherry on fucking top. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. This is really giving boy talk. Okay, so he gave me his phone. I went into his notes page and that's when I saw it. Dot, dot, dot. I saw a girl's name. So I decided to click on it. Okay, so of that course, was the like little- uh, The headline. So I saw a girl's name. I decided to click on it. That's when I realized he's wrote his body count list. I noticed my name there no! at the bottom. Oh, of course you're on the list too. No. Oh no. I noticed my name there at the bottom. I checked the date it was made. Dates? It said, Dates? Oh, the date it was yes, made. Yes, yes. Oh. And it said 23rd of June, 2023. What, racist. in the summer? Yeah. Can I How long wait? have you guys been no, together? We've been together for two years. <gasps> <laughs> wait, there's another girl's name of June 20, 20, 23rd? No, no, no. That's when he I made noticed, the list. I noticed my name at the bottom. I checked the date. And, oh, the list was made on the 23rd yeah. of June. My bad. As okay. A, your boyfriend what of a few the... years sat there on the sofa thinking, yeah, let me write up my body uh, count. Uh, reflecting. Like it's not even something that you've you've made as the names have accumulated. Yeah, because that enough. I kind of understand. If he's people, had the list since yeah, 2017. People have like these books, don't they? Like blah, 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 blah. blah. Yeah. kind of get that. But yeah, making I've the notes. list. I've got notes on there from 2016. Yeah, same. Yeah. Making the list a couple months ago <laughs> yeah. is weird. Can I just add, I was in the middle of surgery at the time he made it. Okay, so he had a lot of time on his wow. hands and he thought, what, what's best what thing can to I do, do with my time? Make this, make this list. Take a trip down memory lane. I confronted him straight away about it. <laughs> Good. Already in an argument. <laughs> See yeah. him. Raging. He immediately grabbed his phone and deleted it. Deleted it. Said it was from years ago. Um, liar! Um, the notes never lie, sir. Liar. And he forgot it was on his phone. Bullshit. It's the Bullshit. top note. You just made it. I said to him, you added my name. So that's a lie. Ah. Yes. Caught on a technicality. Yeah. He said he didn't know the reason why he'd done it. It was ages ago. Maybe he was just curious of numbers. I was just curious of the numbers. What? <laughs> I added that. I now feel like a number added to his list. Not mm. a girlfriend. Yes. Yeah. He is amazing. Oh, God, we've got a picture. He's amazing to me and I know he would never hurt me, but this just keeps playing over in my head and I can't believe he added my name when I'm his girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Yeah. At least put my name in bold with a heart next yeah, to it. Like, just like all like, the rest. And like, this is the end of the list. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you're, you know, Sophia, the end. Yeah. <laughs> surely the end Come love on. of my life yeah, yeah. <gasps> proposal pending yeah. yeah i mean just like a nice could have round rounded off. it off yeah okay yeah i can't believe you added my name when i'm his girlfriend and i can't get the image of him and these girls out my head i haven't told any of my friends as i'm just so embarrassed girls Aww. what would you do both please help also when he when he was in the chat i went in onto his recently deleted notes and i took a picture of it I searched them on Insta. <gasps> oh no! So she searched the names, and he no. still follows half of them. No. Yes. <gasps> no. No. That's a new layer. Oh, that's that a is new so layer. disappointing. What a new layer. Oh, God, what you a took layer. a picture of it and you went looking on. Would Insta. you both? Be Isn't pissed it just off? so shit when you really find what you're looking for? Damn. He still follows half of them. Listen, the Wait, thing do you want to here, see the pic? Before we delve. the list. She's got a picture of the list. No. I forgot, oh, I wish. <laughs> oh, we should. Please send a picture of this. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the couple. Go I mean, gorgeous looking couple. Let's see. Happy and smiley. Oh, must be an old pic. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> that was a really Must bitchy be an thing. Open, okay? <laughs> oh, oh, they're very like she. He's handsome and she's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, that's a lovely. Oh, they do look well suited. Don't he's got they? some nice Birkenstocks on. Listen, the thing here, you he's know, got his toes out. She's got his toes out. Mm, she's got. <laughs> she's got his toes out. <laughs> <laughs> open, open heart open mind open toe <laughs> shoes <laughs> listen the thing here mm. this kind of goes back to ignorance is bliss 
Okay. You're not mad that he slept with these girls in the past. You always knew that, you know, you didn't assume he was a virgin when you met him. Like everyone knows that everyone's got a past, but it's just hurt your feelings to see this list. To your see it with your, your own name eyes. on the list, like you're yeah. just another one of the names, yeah. And the fact that it was made a couple, like in the summer, yeah. But while yeah, you were going through a hard time, while you were, yeah, <laughs> it, down in the dumps. Um, and then the cherry on top is the fact that he's not even got the an ounce of respect to just unfollow these girls. He's still following half of them, which that could be, you know, God, how many. I know. Could, but could. then some boys, like, I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. If he's not really using, like, if he's not, like, scrolling on Instagram, for, if he's not really using his Instagram, the people that you don't engage yeah, with. Yeah, then that's the classic excuse. I'm just, trying to, I'm just trying to be the devil's yeah. advocate. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. He's not really using it because some guys don't some yeah. girls don't some people don't yeah. if he's not engaging with their content it won't be showing True. on their feed unless he's like he Liking may not have seen them. these people's posts for I, I follow so i never see their posts yeah. you know you only see the posts who you engage with mm-hmm. so if he's not you know been liking their pics he maybe has forgot he's following them unless he's going to go through his following list and least interacted with, boom, 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 boom. Unless he's going to do that, which mm-hmm. he may just not even, might not even be on his radar. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That that could explain mm-hmm. that. I'm mm-hmm. just trying to give him the benefit of the mm-hmm. doubt. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's still a no disrespectful one, blow. No, no girlfriend wants to find that list and read it, see their own name on it, especially. No, like if you found it way at the end of the notes, you know, a long time ago. You probably could let it slide. Yeah. I think it's the Ma- fact that he made it whilst you guys were in yeah. a relationship. If it was made that's in 2018. a bit weird. Yeah. Because it's like, but then I do also think he was probably very embarrassed when you found it. Probably did forget that he made it. Yeah. And because I also do get it. You sometimes you want to reflect on the past. Yeah. You know, sometimes, you know, you do you know, just maybe reflect he on was the past. like out with his mates and they were talking about one of his mates had a list mm. and it was in his thing and he thought mm. oh I'm like, I don't know I don't know mm. but yeah no one wants to find that I would be really pissed off as well especially seeing your name I'd on it I'd be raging are you joking yeah um, I'd be absolutely enraged but in terms of what I, th- I I do think it's forgivable I think it's I don't think it's I a sackable offense as long as he is just not liking ideal, these is girls pictures actively well now the point is now you know you can say to him this is you still you still I don't know if you know I don't know if you're aware of this. at least he knew, knew it was disrespectful and delete the li- list, list yeah the list, list. straight away because he yeah. could have really tried to defend himself you know to the bone yeah he? he could have he he surrendered straight away he did that, which that's we like something yeah yeah and you know if you really if you want if you want him to you could you can say to him why are you still following these girls unfollow them it's fucking and he embarrassing should just, he should be like oh yeah okay let me have a look blah, 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 blah. yeah and that could be the end of it Hopefully. Because there's nothing worse than getting into a new relationship with a boy and he's still following all the girls he used to text and sleep with. Mm, it's not ideal, is it? It's not ideal. It's disrespectful. Like, this is the new age, right? This is the new and age. I don't Preach care. it, sis. It is, Soph, isn't it? And mm. I don't care how little you go on Instagram or or if you're even least interacting with them. This is the new age. <laughs> this is the new right? age. Right? It's the new age. So and a 20th, double- what century are we in? 21st century yeah we're in the 21st fucking century and the new age is a double tap on that girl's like is your on that well, girl's that's picture different. yeah liking pics i mean it, but that's fo- active. It, it, even following you're letting them know i'm still here mm. i still i'm still aware of you and i still like you that <laughs> is what that gives especially a double tap especially a follow so and and as much as you do know it's just a follow it's just a, no it's disrespectful unfollow it's disrespectful. It's the new age. <laughs> she said it. Right? She said it, So people. it's like, okay, whatever. If that's your boundaries and if that's how you yes. feel about it, then... Like, if, if it... If it makes you feel uncomfortable, then yeah, yeah it's wrong. It feels, it's disrespectful, right? And you need to understand as my partner that- That's how it, it makes me feel. That's how it makes me feel. It may, it not, it may exactly. not have made your ex feel this way. Exactly. It may not make you feel mm-hmm. this way. You may not even think about these mm-hmm. girls at all, which you probably doesn't, but it, makes, but it makes me feel yeah. this way. That's what it's about. So as your girlfriend who you see your future with, I would like the same level of respect as I would 
pay you because I'm not I'm not liking rand I'm not following random boys who I've slept with before mm. unless she is unless unless you are and then but then it's each to their own exactly you know? some people it's everyone has a different standpoint everyone on this some people don't care yeah. some people like yeah. Chintu obviously feel very strongly about this <laughs> and it's the new age Sophia. it's the new age um so yeah I do think that's forgivable not ideal yes um but I do believe he probably time. is a little bit embarrassed that you found that and and I think you can get through that personally. Same. Let him know we can't just, you know, it's not a quick fit. Quick I think he, I thing. think he can make that up to you. Me too. And I think you can, you can just like leave this said, in the past. At least he deleted it straight away and wasn't yeah. like blindly trying to defend it. Yeah, I'd like to think he was just bored on the toilet and you know Same. was just cracking up a list. Because, like I said, we all like to reflect sometimes. Just a little bit here instincts. and there. Mm. You know, we reflect all the time back on the past. Don't this we? is the new age. Yeah, it's <laughs> that's the quote of the episode. This is the you new know, age, Chintzy Baylor Silla. Yeah, and the notes app, it's the new age. True. You know, if we were to ask Angie and Romano, Fiona and Grant, mm. they haven't got no electronic notes. No, they haven't. You know, it'd be finding, you know, a quill and mm. a piece Scroll. of bark. Scroll. <laughs> under under the bed in a dusted box. A piece of bark. <laughs> they weren't cavemen. Or they the have typewriter. pens and paper. Typewriter, typewriter. An old piece of unfinished paper mm, in parchment it. Parchment paper. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce and the paper. Egyptians. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, what, 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 um... Um, yeah, we did it at school, didn't we? What did the Egyptians use? Parchment, wasn't it? Parchment? No. Did we use parchment to bake cakes? Oh. <laughs> we definitely began parchment, with a pea. Parchment, grand piece of parchment. <laughs> do I need to put, do I need to butter the parchment? Bit of foil. <laughs> yeah, what did the Egyptians yeah. for? We did it at school. They used bark. I thought no, they it had was stone. Papyrus! <laughs> Let's fucking go! She's got it! Yes, papyrus, papyrus paper! Parchment, I was close! <laughs> papyrus! In hieroglyphics. Yeah. All the girls' names. Oh my god. Oh yeah, what a time. Okay, well, let's wrap it up there. I, why don't, for next week, our question of the week. Yes be um about people about finding, finding your boyfriend's list body counts uh, finding part uh, finding stuff in your partner's notes what's the worst thing you found in your partner's, partner's notes? notes that's our question of the week and listen a body count list is pretty up there with you in the list yeah <laughs> with, with you in the list <laughs> at the bottom of the so, <laughs> future you know it's like to be continued to be conti <laughs> dot, dot 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 to be continued that would send me mm. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Okay, right. Um, Thank you um, so much for um, listening. Let's find a quote. Let's find a quote. There we go. Why don't we go in our notes and see if we can find anything in our notes? Da, da, da. Oh, in our notes. Yeah. Okay. Let me scroll back to my oldest notes. I've got long cream dress, long red dress, oh, black jumpsuit, my, red jumpsuit. Oh, okay. My oldest note, it only yeah. goes back to 2019, but disappointing. Yeah. But it was all of our um, uh, names for Bonnie which is our family Aww. dog. So if anyone is getting a puppy for Christmas and needs some name inspo, these are names that we were going to name Bonnie, but we didn't. Daphne. Oh, loved Daphne. That's such a we nice We were so name. close to naming her Daphne, but we didn't know about shouting Daphne on the part. You know, Daphne. Daphne. Drop it. Daffy. Daffy dog. We have Blondie, Missy, Buttons, Blondie. Muffin, Sandy. Buttons, Muffin. Sandy, which is so cute. Sandy. Daphne, yeah. Toast. Yeah, toast. Random. Buffy. Loved Buffy. Buffy. Ruby. My dad wanted Ruby. Aww. So he could sing Ruby, 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 Ruby. Yeah. Uh, Phoebe. Tink. And what does that say? Tink. Pixie, I think that says. Pixie. That's scroll. You know what? Yeah. It's Muffin for me. Muffin. It's Sandy, Daphne, and Buffy for me. Buffy. So cute. But she's called Bonnie. That's Bonnie's my oldest note. Cute. What's your oldest note? I got some randos here. So my oldest note, 2016. Wow. So that's go almost 10 that's years. That's really synced up. We've got some passwords here, 2016. I've got links to AYM Studio. Oh. 2016. I've got neon mini two piece scent, pink set, pink neon. <laughs> July pink. corset dress, bright red. <laughs> Tango mini two piece, ivory white. <laughs> Jenna bikini top, blush, shimmer, size medium. Is this your outfit planning for <laughs> yeah. a holiday? Pillow jogger set, size M. <laughs> <laughs> I've got grey oh. leggings, grey nicky top, O poly coat, 
Nice. Grey joggers, grey beanie, leopard coat, black wow. leather trousers. <laughs> a lot of outfits. <laughs> Nude heel boots. Fab. Things from the wash, makeup wipes, straighteners. <laughs> Things to pack in a suitcase. Things from the wash, makeup pack, suitcase. I've got shampoo, conditioner, hair oil, makeup, straighteners, socks, black aviator, charger, adapter. Ooh. 2018. I've got BTS with a heart. Oh. <laughs> girl what a time look through your notes everyone see what you find it's actually kind of hilarious okay guys thank you so much for listening if you want an extra episode of the girls bathroom podcast you can get it every single monday over on patreon yes you can indeed um it's a whole group chat over there. You guys are meeting. It's a literal you're group You're swapping chat. your Instagrams. You're um, debating, um, what was I going to say? You're like coordinating tour trips. Yes. People yes. who are coming solo are in the group yes. chat and they're arranging to go We're together, which is Christmas so amazing. We're showing Christmas nails and yeah. all sorts. It's a good time in there right now. We hope you like our trees. And if you Yay! have any dilemmas, please email them to hello at thegirlsbathroom.com. And please follow us on Instagram at thegirlsbathroom and on TikTok and... That's about it. Is that and on it? YouTube? Yes, and on YouTube. Subscribe. There we go. Where we are here today. Happy holidays. Woo-hoo! See you Happy next holidays. Wednesday. Bye.